Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and as you guys can tell, I am still super sick. So the reason why I haven't been uploading as much recently is because I've been sick, I've had a sinus infection which sucks really bad, but that is not going to stop me from opening some stuff on up before the holidays here. So. Uh, I have some stuff in from Fantasy Crate. So those of you guys that are unfamiliar with Fantasy Crate, it is a subscription service for Magic where you pay a monthly fee and they send you a package with Magic stuff in it. So uh, they have two different things that they like to do. Uh, there's one that's just centered around booster packs and like drafting and predominantly uh, you're getting like a bunch of packs. And another one is like a themed one, which every month it changes and it, you get something different uh, each time uh, based on the theme. So. Uh, we are going to take a look at what we have. This one is rather bulky, so uh, I feel like I want to save that one. We'll, we'll save that one best for last, I, I guess. I think that's how that works. But yeah, being sick is awful, especially around the holidays. It just makes everything just abysmal. But there are going to be some links down in the description. If you guys want to check out Fantasy Crate, there's going to be a link. You can follow it, and you can check out what they're all about on their website. So first and foremost, we have one of these score pads. I actually haven't got one of these in a while. That's sweet. They're actually pretty useful. We have a packing slip. What else do we have? We have some uh, token pads. We have some sleeves, some hypermat reds. These are always great. Those are about 10 bucks or so. And we have some Battle for Zendikar booster packs. So we have six packs of Battle for Zendikar. So is that all that we were supposed to get out of here? Six packs of Magic the Gathering and a set of sleeves and life pad and token pad. Yeah, seems about right. Total MSRP, 36 bucks. Yep, that sounds about right. All right, so that is the first one that we have. So not too, uh, not too thrilling, but it definitely is a uh, assortment of various things. All right, what is this? This, oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, all right, I feel this. A nice little uh, Legion lunchbox, I, <laughs> I feel this. All right, this is cool. Uh, I can't imagine that this is just the sturdiest thing. I feel like this would just get beat up pretty easy. Yeah, like there's already a small dent in it. That's okay. But that's all right. We have some stuff in here. All right, so we have a deck box for Max Protect. So these are about two bucks or so. Uh, we have a set of Perfect Fit sleeves. These are always awesome. They're about five bucks or so. And we have four booster packs of Battle for Zendikar. I actually wonder, was there a, a packing slip thing? No, there actually wasn't one in this one. If I... Yeah, no, I'm not stupid. There wasn't one in this one. All right, so no packing slip in this one. And unfortunately, the thing that sucks about these is they just bang up super easy, but they look cool. I mean, this is just gonna like sit on a shelf, so uh, it's not like I'm way too worried about it getting like beat up or anything like that. Uh, I also don't like the whole rattling thing, but hey, it is what it is. It's a gift, either way. They sent me this stuff for free so I can review the product for you, so. Uh, yeah, let us crack into some packs here. All right, so I might as well give away these sleeves. We'll give away the, the Perfect Fits, the the matte sleeves, and the deck box. They all seem to go, go well together. Red sleeves, red deck box, and Perfect Fits. You can sleeve up a Legacy deck, I guess. Uh, and I guess the score pads, too. I re really don't need those. But uh, we'll get to that uh, in a little bit after we get through these pack openings. Oh man, it feels so weird, like trying to talk on camera whenever you're sick, just hearing your own voice and knowing that it sounds off. It's just awful. All right, so our first rare, we have Conduit of a Ruin. Five, five for six guy, whenever you cast it, you can search your library for a colorless creature card with CMC four or greater, or four or greater. I'm obviously illiterate, seven or greater, reveal it and put it on top of your library. First creature spell you cast each turn costs two less. We have a foil swap. That is actually kick ass. That's sweet. We have an island and a night ally. 
All right, there we go. Foil, uh, foil basics are always sweet. Those are about, yeah, they're about five bucks or so. If I had to put a price tag on them. They're somewhere around there. It depends on the art of them. And our next rare is Oran Reef Hydra. 5546, five, trample, landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Hydra. If it's a forest, put two on it. Planes. So, not too spectacular rares, but they're cool. Gotta skim through here pretty quick with the other uh, packs. Noyon Dar, Royal Shaper. 4-4 four, four for 5. Whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery spell, you can put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target land you control. If you do, that land becomes a 0-0 zero, zero elemental creature with haste, and it's still a land. And we have a swamp. Okay. This guy's actually pretty cool. Kind of want to do something with, uh, with that card. I don't know if EDH or like constructed. Kinda feel like standard I wanna just kinda gimmick him and do a deck. Let us see. Maybe we can get an expedition out of here. We have Sanctum of Ugin. Uh, produces one mana and whenever you cast a colorless spell with CMC 7 or greater, you can sacrifice it. If you do, search your library for a colorless creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand. And a Pliens. Or planes for those of you that aren't fancy. Uh, what I wouldn't give to just be healthy all the time. Let's see. Smoldering Marsh. All right. So Swamp Mountain produces red or black for us. Enters the battlefield tapped unless we control two or more basic lands. And then a swamp and a Gideon emblem. That's cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, just a few more packs here. Make our way downtown. Walking fast. Drana! There we go. We have a Mythic out of here. This one's actually pretty good cast too. So, 2-3 two, three for 3. Flying first strike, whatever. Uh, she deals combat damage to a player. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on each attacking creature you control. And a swamp. I actually really like Drana. Uh, I was playing Drana in Junk for Modern as a one-up in the sideboard just because uh, with like Lingering Souls and stuff, it was pretty good in the mirror match to just kind of get an edge over your opponent. So I actually like this card in Modern. It's pretty sweet. It's no Vampire Nighthawk, uh, but it's still pretty cool. We have a Prairie Stream, so our Plains Island on the same proportions as our Smoldering Marsh in a forest. All right. We have Brutal Expulsion. I actually wish this card was like worth more money than it is because this card's super sweet. Uh, it's Devoid, four cost, choose one or both, return target spell or creature to its owner's hand, and or it can deal two damage to target creature or planeswalker if that permanent would be put into the graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Really sweet. I actually like Expulsion a whole lot. Uh, towards the beginning of the season of Standard, whatever, Battle for Zenigar, like first came out, people were like just jamming Hangerback Walker and stuff, and I ran into a lot of people playing Brutal Expulsion just to get rid of uh, Hangerback Walker. It was actually relatively annoying. Let's see, it seems like there's a foil in this one. Uh, March from the Tomb. So return some ally bros, return them uh, to the battlefield uh, with total converted mana cost 8 or less. So sorcery speed, 5 cost, and I don't like reading his sentences. Uh, we have a foil Sylvan Scry, that's actually sweet as well. So both of the foils that we got are actually pretty kick-ass. That's just gorgeous. I actually wish I had an entire playset of these foil. This is really sweet. I actually like this art a lot better than the old art. We have a Pliens. So that Sylvan's Crag is just juice. All pulp. Actually, no pulp. No pulp juice. Hashtag no pulp. 
let's see. I don't think there's a foil in this one. You can kind of tell based on how many cards are towards them. Uh, scatter to the winds. So counter target spell for three, instant speed. And it has an awaken for three for six mana, which was a poor way of wording it. Awaken three for six mana. So you can uh, cast it for its awaken cost, and you can put three plus one plus ones on a land, and that land is a zero zero with those counters on it. And then we have a Tony Montaigne. So those are our packs here that we got from Fantasy Crate. So it's actually pretty awesome. Uh, we had the, the Drana, we had the Foil Swamp, the Foil Sullivan Scrying, and the, the Battlelands as well, which is pretty pretty awesome. Uh, that's just kind of what I what I like to aim for. Like, if I could get Gideons a little bit more frequently, that'd be awesome too. But uh, as far as packs go, this is this is definitely pretty sweet for packs. So now I guess we've gotten to the point of talking about giving away this stuff, this stuff, yeah, this stuff. So uh, how you can enter in? So uh, Oath of the Gate Watch is going to be coming out pretty soon-ish, so uh, what I want you guys to do is leave a comment down in the comments below telling me what your favorite thing is about Oath of the Gate Watch, what you're excited for, or anything in that realm. Uh, I guess otherwise, uh, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And yeah, that'll be the way to enter in. So like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And uh, we'll give away this cool stuff to one lucky winner and you'll be able to probably sleeve up like a legacy deck or something like that, modern deck, whatever. If you wanna keep your expensive cards or I guess even if you wanna keep your inexpensive cards say if you can double sleeve them. Uh, but yeah, I am still kind of super sick-ish. I'm losing my voice, so I think this is where we cut off this video and I go and just try to swim in some cough syrup or something like that. Uh, the only not excessive doses that they recommend, I guess. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, peace out.